Howdy folks, Travis Newton from Visual Evidence back again to answer those frequently asked questions about Zoom. Today's question comes to us from a medical malpractice attorney. They ask, what's the difference between speaker view and gallery view in Zoom? And what are the pros and cons of each? I'm so glad you asked. Here, let me show you. If you've joined a Zoom meeting on your PC or Mac, take a look in the upper right hand corner of the Zoom interface. There you'll see a button. If you click on this button, a menu will drop down and ask you if you want to use speaker view or gallery view. For many users, speaker view is the default, especially if it's their first time using Zoom. Speaker view shows you the active speaker. Now Zoom chooses only one active speaker at a time, so only one person who is speaking is going to get their close up. The upside to speaker view is that whoever's speaking, you're going to be able to see them in greater detail. The downside is the other people are relegated to being teeny tiny little icons on top. Now let's switch to gallery view. We'll click on the menu in the upper right, just like we did before, and then choose gallery. Remember the old Brady Bunch intro? Well, that's what gallery view looks like. I'm dating myself a little bit, but it's all right. The upside to gallery view is that you can see all the participants who have their cameras connected and turned on. Another upside to gallery view is that it allows you to pin a certain user so that you'll only see their face in close up and everybody else is pushed off to a small pop-up window. The downside to gallery view is that it's not available on all devices. If you have a question about Zoom or remote depositions, give us a call 561-655-2855 or email us at office at visualevidence.com. Visit us on the web at visualevidence.com.